A packed gymnasium to honor those lost to the worst drunk driving crash in the nation's history. Nine on your side reporter Natasha Williams is live in Radcliffe with more on the memorial that's going on right now. Natasha. Carol, the gym here at North Harden High School is packed with those remembering that 25 year old tragedy. Young, old, and everything in between. They are side by side remembering those victims, the families. They're united in thought and prayer for those who they lost and those who suffered, but who are still living through horrible, horrible memories. It was a tragedy 25 years ago on May 14th, 1988, that left 27 dead from the Radcliffe, Kentucky community, killed by a drunk driver after a trip to Kings Island. The mayor spoke to the crowd. At the time, he was just eight years old. Faces were missing from church on Sunday. School on Monday. Tragedy had struck our small town. But out of this tragedy came something great. It was plain to see that the pain of our tragedy was not one person's, one family's, one person's alone to bear. Now the memorial service is just wrapping up here in Radcliffe. Of course, we will be here and bring you the absolute latest on Nine on Your Sign at 11. Now, of course, they're also talking about something very important here. Tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, they're going to have a very important screening. It's called Impact After the Crash. They will view the story of what happened that night on May 14, 1988, when that bus crash happened through a documentary, through the eyes of a documentary film artist, and they'll be viewed right here at Radcliffe High School tomorrow night. So, of course, we'll have more about all of that coming up tonight at 11. Reporting live in Radcliffe, Natasha Williams, 9 on your side. Thanks, Natasha. It's a day we'll never forget.